hey guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that ended up a great time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so hey, I'm here with Dave Brown, the local Detroit based hello. comic artist. Hello, hello. Uh, we actually have some peeps in the chat, so I'm gonna go say hi to the peeps, and then okay. we'll come say back hi to you. So we got Travis. Hello. Got Bebe, who is getting ready to go down to Heroes Con. Hey, Kev. What's up? Oh, let's see. Oh, hey, Mike. Hey, Glenn. Oh, Glenn, check it out. I'm wearing my Nintendo controller shirt. Uh, he's part of my cart Mario Kart group. <laughs> hey, me. <laughs> Oh, hey, Miss O. Hey, Beavit. Oh, Snack. Sub Journey. Oh, just missed it. Wow. Hey, John. Let's see. Hey, Nam. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, John. Hey, Wild. <laughs> A complimentary cheese tray. Yes. Uh, so he also goes to Baltimore Comic Con, so maybe you'll run into him there. Nice. <laughs> All right. So that was it for the peeps in chat for now. Uh, so you want to give a little introduction and introduce yourself to the lovely people? <laughs> well, hello, people. My name is Dave <laughs> Brown. Um, I'm a comic book creator. Um, I'm an all-around artist. I'll say that for sure. Um, I'm the creator of Through the Storm Comics, which is, you know, created and made by me. Um, I got a few a few titles actually up under my belt. Um, <laughs> <work. Yeah. laughs> I love to draw. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Let's end it. We're done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So let's get into a little bit about your history in art. When did you start doing art? I started years, 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 forever ago. Um, my father also um, does a lot of, you know, you know, landscaping and portrait artwork. So I've, you know, pretty much already had the interest of art, but I never wanted to do portraits, to be honest. I, was, <laughs> I never had no energy drawing people. Yeah. So, you know, so I always started drawing Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Yep. That was my jam. <laughs> so, so drawing his and turtles and to draw and my dad started, you know, gave me all his comic books back when he was young. And I started, you know, drawing off from those pretty much. And okay. you know, there I am pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Uh Turtles was big in my house, but the first thing I really got into start drawing besides birds and cats. Mortal Kombat characters. <laughs> wow. You know, it's funny you say that, too, because actually, when I started drawing Mortal Kombat, I knew I was, like, so serious. Like, you know, like, <laughs> this is it. My dad talked about portrait pictures. I'm going to draw some straight up Luke Kane. I'm going to mix Scorpion. in some Scorpion. Scorpion. Like, <laughs> everybody, man. Uh, my favorite was when I would draw them on the pit or in the pit. <laughs> Just <kind of> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's how serious it was yeah, that's, yeah and then i remember like all the guys we would have like mortal Kombat tournaments and we moved them to my backyard and then we would go to video zone which is a local video and we would play there and then <laughs> we would battle each other then we would battle each other drawing the characters and no one none of us knew how to draw, draw. <laughs> i don't know why how they became a thing but yeah <laughs> Oh man, yeah, <laughs> that was my oh. stuff, man. So <laughs> that's how you do. You really were having fun. You're uh, getting yeah, creative. Right? <laughs> 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 oh, we got a question from a chat from Travis. All right, who was your favorite DC character? If you could write and draw any character from DC Comics, who would it be? Oh man, Batman, hands down. Batman, nice. Is there and a you, specific run you like of Batman? Um, 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 uh, what's his name? Um, Snyder, Snyder's. Um, oh, the whole okay. Sort of owls, all that kind of stuff, yeah, right there. Yeah, that's good stuff. And you know, it's crazy too. I never, um, you know, Batman was such my my thing, pretty much. You know, back when I was young, my dad introduced me to, um, um, Batman sixty six. Uh, you know, back when it was on channel yeah. like 62 and stuff like that. Oh, so it's yeah. like, you know, so I was really into it. 
So, and then my first comic actually was Batman the Dark Knight, really. So, oh, that's good stuff, too. I like, I like, yeah, that. I like that like, era of Batman. It's good. I couldn't really read that much good back then, but it was all about pictures for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that's a good yeah. thing about comics. Uh, and right. I think that's uh, a lot of how people who don't really read well or, uh, they have issues interacting with people, they do it for the art, and that starts to help them build, you know. On it all did that actually stuff. because I want to know what was going on here, pretty much, really. Especially when the death of the family happened, I was like, I'm so confused. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and but with Batman, though, I never wanted to draw Batman because I felt like I never did him no justice. Like, everybody okay. did him so good, so uh, it's kind of like, you know. Yes you know like where would i fit in to do batman so when i do them i just make sure i you know either my personal style pretty much but it's also I probably piggybacking off somebody else because it's somebody else that i love especially like you know like um um jim lee pretty much with his bat that's like my favorite batman artist uh, ever he's so, you gotta draw a really like intense batman yeah yeah you gotta do that you gotta do that but yeah, I love Batman a lot. I was really big into like the, the weird Spider-Man titles, not mm -hmm. like the main run, like the weird off brand. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, like, I just got those little mini series. I love them to death. Nobody yeah. reads these. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm the one. I'm the one that reads those. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's kind of like my <laughs> like my favorite Batman comic, and it's only a one off. And that's it's like of all his comic books, all of yeah. them, and I have a lot. Him versus Elmer Fudd. <laughs> it was have, yeah. it was so fantastic to me that I was like, wow, they did it to where it was like this yeah, is actually really cool. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I like that the cat woman came out with one too, and it was Sylvester and Tweety. So it was her yeah. versus Black Canary. <laughs> but they had see. Sylvester and Tweety. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but it was great. And then they also had a really good, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, the Scooby-Doo Batman comic works. <laughs> it does. Yeah. It just works. <laughs> yeah, it works. I don't know what it is, but it works for me. I'm good with it. Yeah, I'll read that. I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got another question for you. Do you have a favorite band or musician? Okay. Yes, oh, but I'm really okay. more old school, really. Okay. So, I mean, I'm more like, I mean, I can go from, I can go from like, like Nickelback, but old Nickelback. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Know? I, I and, really like their original stuff, and then yeah, whatever I, so... I can't remember the name of it, but the one where like. They're singing about being rich and then playing baseball in a bathroom or something. <laughs> okay. I know what you're about. I can't it. remember what rock star. There, there we go. There. <laughs> the why I thought everything else but that. <laughs> yeah. And um, you know, you know, Lincoln Park. I'm 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 more that's that's you know, I'm corn, you okay. know. I'm really old school with it. New school, I'm not really like if I hear it. And you know, it gets to me, then I'll hear the name. So I'll make sure I go to YouTube or somebody and try to figure out what's the name and I'll save it. And that's pretty much it, really. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I'll have a whole yeah. list of like stuff to I got a whole list. list. Later. It's like the same, like on repeat. <laughs> 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 well, ain't no yeah. telling where my music might jump to, really. So, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. All right. What is me saying? Oh, Hal Jordan Green Lantern. And you would want to do Batmite and Mr. Whatever that dude's name. I can never pronounce that guy's name. Exhibit. Let's just call him Exhibit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's Mr. Exhibit. Worse, like. <laughs> Adam, Adam West. West. I do like Adam West. Uh oh, you're getting a little crackly. Can you hear it? Uh, I don't know if anybody else has seen that for just my side. Uh, I think you might be frozen now. Uh oh. It's start. It's getting better. Hello. You hear me? Yep. Okay. We, we okay. survived the All right. camp session ordeal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Travis, uh, Glenn and I are going to be starting to watch the 66 series soon. <laughs> so if you want it on that, let me know. <laughs> oh, I, I do adore that series. I watch it all the time and I love the movie. 
uh, I was big into the Wonder Woman and the Hulk in the Superman show back in the day. So that's yes, one. that's what I like. All that classic cheesy stuff. Give me the practical effects. I'll, I'll take that. Me too. Same here. <laughs> like, I love it. Uh, the cheesy just glittery foam for whatever reason just works. <laughs> it just does. Uh, what well, artist inspires you the most? I have to go with my father, to be honest. Um, my father's, you know, my father, regardless that he, even though he he does a lot of landscaping and, you know, paintings and portraits, he do do comic book style and his comic okay. book style is so old school. You would have thought he did actually draw some stuff in the back in the day. Oh, that's neat. So, you know, I guess I'll look at him, but then if I want to go off him, I mean, Jim Lee, you know, yeah. the typical kind of people pretty much, you know, um, 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 Todd McFarlane. Mm -hmm. I always love his ink work. I always love the ink work. Uh, the ink work, oh. yes. Uh, I'm huge into like the Sylvester and Turner and the Finch nice. type stuff. I love all that stuff. And nice. then I love yeah. the Jim Lee, Scott Williams. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love them. And then I love Travis Charre and Richard Friend, second favorite pencil ink team. I love them. Yeah. I didn't think about that, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, he's actually got a really good YouTube. So if you ever want to watch him, he does like lunchtime hangout sessions. Where he'll yeah. go through like pick specific artists and like flip through like books and trades and stuff. Then he has a, a show on Sunday where they actually feature like an artist, but he's really good. He's very interactive with this chat, but so he's, he's wow. Really cool yeah, check that out. yeah uh, I'll link you after this. Uh, okay. But yeah, he's really good. I love hanging in there. Uh, let's see. We got, yeah. <laughs> wow, me. I would not have pegged you for Bob Marley, but you're a cool dude. So yes, Bob Marley and the Whalers. We're kind of behind on chat because we're keeping up. Uh, Jim Lee and Capullo, yeah. yes. Nice. Uh, also Jim Lee, yes. Oh, hey, Boggs. How are you? <laughs> okay. Uh, Travis wants to know, why is Animal Man so awesome? And if you don't know who Animal Man is, you could talk to Travis, and he will tell you the entire history of the character. So. <laughs> wow. I've always heard <laughs> that a little bit <laughs> But never got into it. <laughs> like, never got into it. I would love to hear more about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. So they he actually hosts with Roscoe a between the lines. So if you ever want to do that, it's like you go on, you just like answer some questions, have a good old time, and then you like you draw along to like a theme that you pick. It's pretty fun. Oh, nice. And like the audience participates. It's really good times. Oh, I like doing that. I love drawing on point. <laughs> All right. So there you go. You hear that, TM? Uh, Nickel. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody was just... <laughs> You saw me. Look, you saw me rub my face when I said Nickelback because a lot yeah, of people. Fine. Like, yeah. There's fine. no judgment here. No judgment. You can like <laughs> whomever you want. Like Nickelback. Like, <laughs> like yo, I'll, Nickelback was my jam back back then. You know Before. when it came out. I'm telling you. People were into it. I don't know what happened yeah. and why they and got then, all the hate, but I don't care. Going, you know, they start leaving <laughs> rock pretty much and start going, you know, in a different direction. <laughs> it's kind of like with Lincoln Park still. People yeah. don't care for I don't stuff. know. I like yeah. it when bands experiment. It's fine for me. I listen to all kinds of weird stuff. Hell, I even listen to stuff from Asia. <laughs> really good, oh, really yeah. good rock bands in Japan. I was a big uh, Rob Zombie back in the oh, day. Oh, I love Rob Zombie. Okay, so this grows up to this. What music did you grow up hearing from your parents' generation growing up? Oh, Motown. Always Detroit. Mo of course. You got to go with the Motown. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so fun fact about Motown. A couple of my guys in the office were part of Motown. So... Uh, <laughs> Uh, a guy that comes in our office, his name's Ray Steinberg, used to be part of the Reflections. And I don't yeah. know if you know them, but they sing uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then uh, another guy in my my office, he recently died, but he would always tell me because he had like a record label and they would produce and sell the music for Motown. And he would always tell me, it was the funniest story ever, how he had beef with Aretha Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting right there. It's a good story. It's a great story. Yeah. 
nothing better than hearing the Hollywood story. Oh, like uh, the behind like, the scenes. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, yeah. There's some, there's some good fun stories. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, uh, Nickelback and Batman. Uh, you feel like you're getting punked? <laughs> <laughs> so if you can't tell, Wildstorm here is nothing but a purist for Wildstorm Entertainment. He has the sickest collection I've ever seen. <laughs> really? <laughs> you need to know the history of Wildstorm. That's a guy to go to, man. Oh man. Uh, oh yeah, he's got it. He's got it all. He's he's pre it's pretty bad. He's he's done a deep deep hole with that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have so many playlists that I had to actually put them on private because I was like, I don't need my people on YouTube to see my 10,000 folders of unorganized. Yeah. <laughs> it's awful. Like pretty bad. All over the place. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mixel Pitlick. Yep, that's what it is. Pitlick. <laughs> hey, Dan. All right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, there we go. Try to get back. That's how you pronounce his name. Okay. All right. I'll believe it. Trust me. Oh my gosh. You guys are super. Hey, me. Hey, Ken. Okay. <laughs> it took a while. Uh, what comic, what artist do you despise the most? Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think I do. Yeah. I don't, think I, I don't have nobody. <laughs> you know, I would say the same thing because a lot of people <clears throat> like Journey here have beef with uh, Rob Liefeld, but you know, he's one of the reasons I got into comics in the 90s and I kind of adore his weird over gargantuan size peeps with their <laughs> 9 million pouches. I was, I was trying to think of somebody actually. I mean, like, nah. I mean, because always, I guess it's because. I look at art pretty much like, you know, it's, you know, whatever you make it. People yeah. can make characters with no fingers and stuff like that, looking at <laughs> Paul of Curse. And it's like, you know, if you can make something into that and make it, you know, people, you know, make it likable and stuff like that, you know, like, it is what it is. Now, if you don't like the art, then it's just what it is. I think, you just, have, though, nah. I think you just have beef with Rob Lightfall is what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> They, yeah, they, they recently got into it on whatnot. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's also a blast to hearing all those stories. Yeah, hey, Ken. Okay, so Comic Journey confirms that Animal Man sucks ass. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so that's a, that's a no-go on the Animal Man, I guess. To say. <laughs> he was Nickelback's roadie. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, also that's Haydager. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, oh, okay. Rob Zombie or White Zombie? Which one did you like the best? Rob. I Rob? mean, I think I'm... Rob. I'm going to say Rob. Okay. White was cool. White was cool. It's just, I think it's just some things I, I got to be in that mood for it. Yeah. You know, something. Uh, more human than human. When that came out, we were like, oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Yes. You enjoy yeah. both of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> uh, way to go, sicko! You can pat your back on that one. <laughs> You're the hometown of Nickelback. You know, great. Wow! All right. <laughs> oh, damn you guys are coming you know i like it keep coming for it i like it uh you know yeah, that man. pearl jam song yeah uh, the butter man song you know ever since that came out i sing butter made because of the chips <laughs> every, time. <laughs> every time since it's come out i have sung that as that song uh <laughs> Great. So every time I see the chips, I now it automatically goes into my head. Hey Ben. Hey Ben. <laughs> hey Norn. Wildstorm was okay. Oh, Norn, you're gonna have some beef with Wild up in here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Hey Callie. All right, let me scroll down. Oh no, where are they going? 
you're not a fan of Peach. Uh, it's not a bad song, but I'm going to say there's a lot of that song happening <laughs> right now. What are you saying? Yes, I know. That's why I said you. <laughs> yes. I get it. I mean, I get it. I've heard, I heard so many. We in this world. Everybody heard the stories. <laughs> <laughs> everybody got one. Quentin Tarantino despises Liefeld's art. <laughs> That's funny. That is <laughs> funny. Um, I would never have thought of that. <laughs> I would have never known that ever. Thank you for letting us know that. And also, hey, right? Peter. Uh, Norn said he's wrong. Animal Man is op and cool. All right. So I guess we have to read Animal Man now. <laughs> he's the right. most misunderstood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm making you uh, now. I really want to go see our animal plan now. <laughs> yeah, we're really getting you guys to go check out some stuff today. Uh, the animation made him a joke too much. Okay, I could see that happening because yeah. I hated what Krypton did to Lobo, and Lobo is my guy. I didn't like what they did in that series with Lobo. What did you say? <laughs> That's also, yeah. I mean, they probably get their lyrics changed in a row. <laughs> can't find a ramming kid. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Hey, Trev, what's happening? Also, thanks for stopping by. Okay. Uh, that was cool. Jeez, you guys, you guys are cracking me up today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Journey. Do not listen yeah. to all these miscreants. Animal Man sucks ass. Okay, so now we're going to have to read it. And then we'll get back to you on your reviews of Animal Man. I yeah, like, I gotta get it. Yeah, I gotta get on. I'm, pretty, I'm already putting it down on my phone. Like, dude, <laughs> check out Animal Man because <laughs> yeah, I love hate thing going on here. And yeah. you gotta figure out why. I gotta find out why. <laughs> uh, oh, geez. Okay, let's get back to your <laughs> first. What? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. I have to use that one. That's a good oh, one. Oh, you got to use it. Yeah, that's great. Oh, man. You guys, you, you're bringing it tonight, let me tell you. Uh, oh, that's Travis is saying, got to run the Animal Man by Jeff Lemire. Oh, and Figure is also saying the covers are dope. Okay. All right. All right. CJ wants to know what is your favorite medium to work with? Um, mostly really digital, to be mostly honest. Mostly digital. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of people. Um, I would say traditional, but I mean, I started off with traditional doing it, but then I was, you know, I did a lot of painting and stuff like that. But digital, I'm kind of really quick about it, really. So, and I like doing comics, so. I want my comments to look digital. You know, I want my colors and everything. And on top of that, I save a lot of money. You know, buying all yeah. that stuff, stuff like that adds up. I got a whole family. Come yeah. on, now. <laughs> so like, do you also um get all your stuff printed through Comics Wellspring? Yes. Because I, I find that out a lot, especially even people overseas are using them. And they're just, they're like close, which is pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. I said they not, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, about, I'd say 20 minutes. Stuff. Yeah, that, that's pretty yeah. cool. So I said, like, yeah, I go up there, talk to them. They are awesome. They are awesome. Everybody in there is awesome, man. So, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm laying way too much about chat here. Give Dave the... <laughs> okay, you have... <laughs> uh, have you ever done any storyboarding? No, even though, like, you know, me doing comics and stuff like that. But, you know... I always wanted I always wanted to do that to be honest, storyboarding, because I'm a big movie buff. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of movie buffs in here too. We like uh a lot of us watch a lot of horror, a lot of wrestling, or a lot I, of I, huge I, I, wrestling. I'm into everything from okay. Twilight Zone to creep show to nice. whatever. Okay. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. <laughs> so whatever. follow up to that. Glenn wants to know what's your favorite all time movie? Ooh, that's hard. Mm. And you said movie. Movie. So okay. Movie. That's a hard one. Sorry, that is a real hard one. I cannot. Yeah, okay. Pick. Want to do top five? 
Top five? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do top five. Uh, Creep Show 2. Okay. Um, Godfather Ooh. 1. Uh, two. Ah, crap. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm going one. Creep Show 2, Godfather 1. Creep Show 1. And that's three. Um, ah, man. Um, it's just so. Um, oh, um, um, Unforgiven. Unforgiven is mean, a really good movie. Yeah, I could watch that movie definitely. And um, The Negotiator. Oh, okay. That's some good stuff. Those are some, that's a good range of movies there. Yeah, it's all over the place. And to be honest, doing five, that's, yeah, that's not, I, I'll still too hard. That. You could probably do it by like series also, because you can't just, like, it's hard to pick like one or two, like if you like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, because my number one series would be straight up Twilight Zone. I was just oh, watching. Ooh, nice. Twilight Zone is my, like, when I draw, when I, that's what's on. Okay. So you've mentioned a lot of like horror type stuff. You do, or would you want to do besides your urban tales, which are kind of, Seems to me kind of creepy. yeah, urban yeah, urban tale is kind of like a um, uh, it's like a um, a horror suspense kind of thing. Um, that was one of my first books that I had I had did out actually, and I'm my wife been telling me like you need to go back to that, you need to go back to it. And I was like, but my art style has changed since then, so I need to redo that book so <laughs> it can match in with the second issue. So oh yeah. well, there you go, that's your Kickstarter right there, boom. Yeah. Urban Tales, the redo plus part two. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you so helped me on that. That's a good one. Yes. That is a good one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah that's a good one. Because if I wanted to do anything, that's what I want to do. I want to do like weird illustrated horror novels, like tiny little small snippets of ones, because that's mm. I that's my jam. And which is weird because I, opposite of you, was a portrait artist for decades. And I didn't oh, really wow. venture out into any other art. And then I started getting into it. And then I fell in love about five years ago with charcoal and horror art. And I always loved horror, but I never thought, you know, hey, let's draw horror stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then, I don't know why. I was just like, yeah, let's do pencil portraits. Let's do that. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I miss so. the charcoal anymore. Whew, boy, boy, that mess. <laughs> was, every time I hear somebody say it, I say, "Ah, oh, think about my college days." Like I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. <laughs> yeah, it's so dirty. <laughs> uh, oh, Terminator Two is a really good one. That had a fire soundtrack. That was a great movie. Yeah, movie. thank you. Well, I don't hear nobody say that. It's like that soundtrack in there is hot. Oh. Uh, when they're on that bike and they're speeding and they're chasing and they're in that scene and then like you could be mine. You get it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. That's so yeah. good. Yeah. Hey, Bleak. Hope you're having fun at your con. He's at a Niagara Falls Comic Con. Uh, uh, yes. Which is also, I hear, really I'm good. Listening. And I also hear Toronto Fan Expo is pretty amazing too. I've uh, heard a couple people in here that are gonna be there, but uh, yeah, I hear that one's really good. I know a lot of people that's, that's up there, and I was like, they say like, you need to come up here, and I was like, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to, I gotta get stuff up uh, here. Yeah, there's a, a lot of the locals that do the con scene here that are from here. They go to there because it's like pretty cheap. It's, I mean, it's pretty just like right there, and really not that super far away. Right. Uh, let's see. What do you think about AI? I'm guessing the AI art. It don't have no effect on me, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> to be honest, I mean, it could do whatever they want. I'm still gonna be me. Yeah. You know, it's dope, yeah. but you know, it's just, you know, I know everybody like you know, fires and pickaxes and stuff like that, walking with it. But I mean, I get it. I'm an artist too, so it's like you know. Yeah. I guess you know it's like. You know, I do a lot of, you know, fan art stuff and everything like that. But, you know, yeah. I, I still have my own, you know, unique kind of way of style and comics that I like to do on my own. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting how they use some of the ones, you know, like where they put in like a scenario and like have them act them out. Like mm -hmm. I can see that would be good for people that want to figure out like a storyboard or like a mm -hmm. progression in a story type thing. I can get behind that, but what I can't get behind is the ones where like the they randomly select the images that could be possibly your art and then make a thing together. Yeah, that I don't thing like. Yeah, I that, it. yeah, that I don't really get behind. But the other thing I can see, 
like that'll save you a lot of time to plan mm -hmm. out like what you want to have happen or you can change things you don't have to keep rewriting stuff like that you know that's kind of pretty good that kind of helps you a long way i do i agree yeah. with that hey lisa okay travis wants to know have you watched succession no no i've never even heard of it so <laughs> well maybe we'll review that <laughs> to let you know <laughs> well, what network is it on i mean because I've, I've got almost every network so oh yeah what network is it on oh well thank you i'm glad you stopped by uh oh man okay uh favorite anime Ooh, that's a tough one too that's a really tough one favorite anime I'm gonna go go straight straight to it. Death Note. Death Note is my favorite. So Good. that's all. <laughs> like, if I want to play a mind game straight, like Ooh, I yeah. love this. I love this. I love it, boy. I love it. I love it. That but, is. Um, that is. Some, I love the animation in that. Also, that's some good stuff. Yes. Yes. Right. I mean, I could I could go old school Dragon Ball, the typical yeah. kind of stuff. But you know, yeah. If I'm going uh, to story. I was really big into Yu Yu Hakusho and Outlaw Star. Mm. Also, uh, well, Dragon Ball was huge in my house, but yeah, that was we just we watched it all. Kind of like the weird, like sci-fi '80s '90s stuff was good too. Uh, but yeah, I got go, I got to throw Naruto in there, of course. That's oh right. yeah, I I love Bleach and I love the Bleach openings and I love the Bleach art. I just did not like the ending. It felt uh, like just rushed, and I was like, ah. But, uh, hey. Cowboy Bebop. I mean, Cowboy, oh yeah, Cowboy Bebop. This could go all. <laughs> we could, yeah. <laughs> endless, endless. Even some no names that's up there. Oh yeah, no names. Uh, I really love Parasite. The manga was my favorite, like in the nineties. Oh, Parasite is no really good. Nobody really mentions that, but that's nobody good. mentions that. You oh, know. Right. You you gotta be really talking to some anime fans, some real hardcore anime fans that be like, when you say parents, like they like, ah, yeah. And it's like, see, but yes. Uh I when I found that manga, because I found it inside the uh <laughs> mix zine, it had Magic Knight Rare, Sailor Moon. Uh I can't remember the end, but it was like some like hitman thing. And Parasite was in there. And I just loved the artwork. I thought it was weird and it had aliens. It's probably why I like weird horror alien stuff <laughs> to this, to this oh, day. So, <laughs> so good. I was thinking, I was thinking life, uh, you mentioned Sailor Moon, actually. It was funny because uh, me, me and my wife is childhood friends. Yeah. We met when we was in elementary school. So we used to come to school, you know, Dragon Ball used to come on early in the morning. And then after Dragon Ball, it was Sailor Moon. So oh, we yeah. come to school and we'd be like talking about it. And I was like, ah, man, Sailor Moon sucking. She was like, oh, Dragon Ball <laughs> sucking. We used, to, Boy, we used to be at it, arguing with each other and stuff like oh, that. Man. Who knew that's, the future? That's how you knew you were soul based. <laughs> <laughs> who knew? Who knew the future? It's like, don't think girl that like Sailor Moon. <laughs> and I was sleeping on Sailor Moon because I was like, dang, she actually, she dope. She there's some diehard Sailor Moon fans in this chat, let me tell you. Yeah. She, yeah. When uh back in the day we I drove to the Ann Arbor Film Fest thing because they had a live action Sailor Moon play play. And it was in the yeah. smallest theater you could possibly imagine. And I half the people were dressed up as Sailor Scouts. It was great. It was Fantastic. Oh, that <laughs> it was so good. It was, that it was good. great. It was, it was really good. That, uh, that was back good. in the day when uh, WYSIWYGS was down there. That was my first anime store. I don't know if you've ever been to that, but that was on campus down there. And that was that was pretty good. They had some good stuff. Wow. Uh, <laughs> all right. CJ, what is the bigger threat? AR, uh, overseas artists working for $3 a day. I'm assuming that's $3. Yeah. $3? Wow. Um, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> that's rough. That's real rough. Um, yeah. Shoot, I don't. I don't know. AI, pretty much, probably because somebody can just hit a button. Really, I mean, other than trying to talk to somebody that's overseas and trying to get stuff. Yeah. It, I'm just. I just talked to somebody actually. That's a writer. Um, and he actually does the, the artwork for his comics. 
he actually talked with somebody overseas, but he said like he was trying to get them down here and the communication and stuff like that. So he always trying to find somebody that's local around him pretty much because, mm. uh, you know, I was, you know, trying to get across and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of like comic artists that are coming from Asia now. Like a lot of them in Korea, Taiwan, Japan, they're doing really well. They have some really good art. Uh, I think a lot of them start out like uh, game character design and then yeah. kind of like move off into that. Cause I know, um, oh man, they're just, they're just so good. Everyone's so talented. It's, it's awesome to see all this art coming out of all over the place. I'm with you with oh, the like Twilight Zone. Anytime, it's a marath- anytime it was a marathon, I was there. <laughs> I, miss, I miss marathon marathon days, man. Stuff just be on all day oh, on TV. Binge. Oh, I used to love Saturdays because Saturdays would be like a weird anime, and then they would do like either mystery science theater binge or like the weird, oh. just like oh that stuff. Oh man, that was. I should do that up mystery science. Oh man, I yes. boys. Man, <laughs> me and my dad used to sit there and watch and watch and laugh and. <laughs> Oh, like it's it. hilarious. I love it. I want to go to, um, we have a lot of really good horror conventions here and I actually know a lot of like the horror artists that go and I would, uh, like Motor City Nightmares, I know it's coming up, uh, Legacy, yeah. I think that already happened, but there's a lot of good ones and they do a lot of like the film fest. I want, oh, man, I would love to go do that. That would be fun. Um, I'll be it. I'll be it. I'll be there too. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite Mario Kart track? Classic Rainbow. Oh yes, on that. Classic. On that. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> oh yes, the Arnold scene. Yeah, it's awful. Arnold's. <laughs> when it gets all melted. Ah, oh, spoiler alert. Also, yeah, it's Ronald Fan Expo. Oh hey hey, headless hammerhead. How are you doing? <laughs> You said spoilers. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> there might be some spoilers. new people in the chat have never seen it. Come on, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you are not meant to see it. Oh, here we go. Uh, whoops, what I do with it? Uh, I mentioned the art show between the lines, and he wants to know if you would like to be on July twenty fourth. It's usually um, uh, yeah. Monday, I think. It's usually Monday. Yeah, cool. I'm oh, down. Boom. Bam. All I got to do Thank is think about the theme. That's it. <laughs> all right. Then you can message him all about that. There you go, Travis. Yes, yeah, since I already messaged him. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Book him down. All right. What do we got here? Uh, adapt or die. Okay. Uh, what about the people? Great. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Succession is on HBO. Oh wow, we're that are we that far behind? Okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Bleach all day. Also, yes. Uh, the new se- the new thing came out for Bleach. I do want to watch it, but I'm like maybe four years behind on anything. <laughs> so I'll eventually I, get there. I think I, I think I watched like what probably two episodes or something like that. I really I've been so busy. I ain't been able to catch up to it yeah uh okay do you read any comics current comics mm, not really current uh okay so what currently are you reading that's not current that's <laughs> my go-to my go-to books is like you know like i said batman's pretty much and um like quarter hours and stuff like that but mostly really watchmen okay Watchmen is, is is my definitely my jam pretty much. Awesome. That's swamp awesome. thing, swamp thing too. Ooh, okay, yeah. I get yeah. behind both of those. Those are both really good. Yeah. Uh, watch pretty much anything really. Okay. Alan Moore, pretty much. I re- I read definitely. Right. Bleach is okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Like Bleach has. It's on. Where is it at? Disney. No. Um. Disney? Hulu. It's on Hulu for the Bleach. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I, I can't wait for season three of One Punch. One Punch is my jam. One Punch. Yes. As as much as it, boy, I feel like I got, I ain't get too late into One Punch, but at first I was like, when I first started, I was like, wait, he can do what? <laughs> like, but then, 
when you dive into that world, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. Okay. It's so wacky. Doodle is great. It's like serious, but then they have like the weird, like, yeah. muscly fish guys coming out of the like, <laughs> <laughs> like the aliens coming down. They're like all these little derpy little dudes. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh slayers i love slayers slayers i love yeah. i love that that's great uh okay what comic book do you cherish the most um truth um uh truth and um static shock oh static shock is good i like that yeah. Okay, where am I going to go? Sailor Moon was cracking back in the day. Yeah, she was. They were babes. They were babes. <laughs> this one? You mean this? Like that? Like that? Is that what you mean? No. Three dollars better than no dollars. You know? <laughs> it's for the arts to take. Yeah. I'm not just going to uh, do it. You can just keep it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> no, that seems like way too much work for like... For like too much work. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yes. I would also say hone in on your skills because, you know, you never know how far you're going to grow. Like, I never thought I'd be where I'm at now. And I could probably be even further along with my stuff if I didn't uh, <laughs> keep stopping. <laughs> Yo, I, hey, I totally get it, man. I totally get it. Yeah, AI training wheels. Yes, okay. Oh, hey, Gary. This is the guy who I was on last night with, so. Hey. Hey, Gary. Uh, okay, hey. what are you saying? If you had the opportunity to choose a character to work on from the major publishers, who would that character be? Ooh, good question. Wait, oh, who? I mean... Like I said, pretty much, you said a major publisher mm -hmm. it would definitely be Batman. But if I want to pick something else, someone else, okay. pick someone else. Oh, um, Invincible. Oh, nice. Okay. I have a side question to this. If you could take any existing character and have them do a crossover with one of your characters, who would you do? Oh. Um. Hmm. Um. You say if I could take an existing character, correct? Yeah. Any, yeah, any character that's out now, and then merge them with like one of your characters, and do like a crossover event. Ah man, how would that? I want. I'm trying to see how would it would work. <laughs> but you know what? You know, scratching my one three one three comics. Okay. I would definitely cross over Streets Fighters with them. Ooh, okay. That's neat. I would, definitely, I would do that. Yeah, Streets Fighters. Streets Fighters hand down. Street Fire, nice. Okay. Yeah. So now that we talked about, uh, you mentioned your 1 3 with you want to go into what your 1 3 1 3 comic is about? Um, uh, 1 3 1, my book, 1 3 1 3. Let's Wait, hold on. Let me make you large. You can people can see you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, not me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Boom. All right. Um, issue one and issue two. This is one three one three. This is my book, based pretty much really off of Detroit, and it's about a character, my character Christopher, who comes back to his hometown, Detroit, and he realized that the city isn't the way it used to be, and okay. the, um this new young mayor has taken over Detroit and he's pretty much made Detroit into like a pleasant view. And you want to take that as it's a good thing or is it a bad thing. It's totally a bad thing because what his friends and family have told him is that the fact that he, people in the community are disappearing. So him and his friends are getting together pretty much to investigate the situation. And I take mm -hmm. it as more of a, it's more like a um, street first meet Detroit. That's why. <laughs> Interesting. You know, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Artists. Yeah. Pretty I always want to do my own um, um, action book. Okay. And, you know, because I am a big action fan. I'm a big Kung Fu fan. I love all old school martial arts movies. Um, and of course, obviously, superpower kind of like stuff, but not too much overpower. But it's just like you know, that's why I say Street Fighters, really. Um, okay. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, that's that's cool. That's really neat. Uh, okay, CJ has another question. And then I would, when I get to your, your Wix site, I can go through and we could talk about it more because that way people can actually see the art, which is neat. And I think you need to show that. All right. If you were offered the opportunity to work on art for a major ad or marketing agency with a 401k, would you give up creating comics? Oh, man. I don't know. I can't <laughs> do both. <laughs> okay. What if they offered you to work on your own comic? And oh. uh, but you lost the rights to it, but you can do more with it. Oh, crap. <laughs> you make well, serious questions. Yeah, that's a serious one. You know, you know, I guess it would depend on it would depend on I think it would depend on what they want. Okay, you know, yeah. Have a lot of stories and stuff like that, you know. If somebody wanted I wish or you know, three or one, three or three or Urban Tales, the Browns family, you know, I have a few different Code Supreme. It's like, if you pick one of those and want to go forth with it, okay, cool. I'm going to get my money off it. I have a bunch of creation ideas and stuff. You know, I got yeah. a bunch of drawings and stuff, stories that I haven't even gotten to yet. So, <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. So, so that would probably just be a way for you to, like, make a ton of money to so just branch out to do your own thing with the story there that you, you really want to work on yep okay all right you're gonna behind that and you know he might just be from cyber <laughs> possible. <laughs> very possible uh, <laughs> uh, all right so let me open up your um your website and then we can look through here because it'll show your characters better but let me open this in a new window to new window all right. Okay. So you could still see chat and won't be able to highlight anything, but I'm going to just present. Uh, let me know when I do this. Yes, we are super duper uh, tech savvy here. Okay. So you can see your comic here. This is the 1313. This is the one that you were just describing. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to talk about any of these characters at all a little bit? Like, who's this guy? Well, that's Christopher right there. Um, that's okay. the main character, and he's the one that just arrived back in town. Um, next oh, okay. to him in the white shirt is Marcus. Um, the guy behind him is Jay. The next over, that's over his shoulder right there, that's Lisa. Okay. And the next over to her, that's Juno. And the next over there is Kyle. That's um, Christopher's best friend. Okay. He seems like he would be a riot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, that's cool. All right, let's go here. Okay, so oh, this must be him coming back home. Yep. Awesome. Also, he has chips, and I also would like some chips. Would be nice. Yeah, he's a snacker. <laughs> oh, look at this! I see you put a little, you know, little ad here for the Brown family. That's fun. Every every book has an ad for me. <laughs> every book has an ad. That's awesome. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> well, I don't care if it's sitting on a table or sitting on a wall, a poster. Is there? <laughs> That's great. There you go. That's how you tie in all your series, and you don't know they're tied in. Right. Uh, look at this guy. <laughs> so this is also giving me slightly like One Punch vibes when like the weirdos come from out of town, they want to battle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You know what? You can't kind of look at it that way. It's, it's like almost like you know if you're oh dang you know what another movie Warriors. That's oh, yes, that's been big in the community the last week. People have been talking about that a lot. That's a really good movie. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is cool. Okay, so this is your other comics. Do you want to describe this a bit, the Brown family? Brown's family is based off me and my family. Uh, me being an artist who also was, you know, was a teacher and stuff like that. And, you know, my wife, who is a nurse, and, you know, with my twin boys and my oldest son and my daughter. She pretty much just our, our, <laughs> our, it's pretty much our adventure, you know, a little, you know, of course, a little more adventurous than what we are, but still those really is still us, <laughs> still us. That's cute. That's really cute. And she was adorable. She, she had a little uh, mini appearance earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's an exhausting day. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. I like your art style. It's very cute. And Thank you have you. a lot of expressions in your characters. <laughs> Look at her down here. Just 
<laughs> Full that's of a, sass. <laughs> that's a typical morning. <laughs> yeah. Typical yes, yes, morning. Yes. <laughs> uh, the Dread School Bus. Yeah. Oh, is this ended? Okay. Let me click this. Uh, back here. Where am I at? Okay. Can you still see the screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, there's Doug Jones. He's cool. I like his art. Okay. How do I get to your oh portfolio? Okay. If I flick it, click this. Well, okay, perfect. Let's just do this. Like right. scroll through here. Oh, okay. That's cool. Let's there's some Batman. Some when I do Batman, it's kind of like, ah, I got to. Let me make sure I look right. On everybody, look at this. Look at he's took on everybody. That's great. Okay, what we got? We got go. Oh, Black Panther. Nice. Ooh, Joker. Very cool. All right, what's happening? Oh, oh, there you go. Where's Glenn at? Glenn, Glenn is huge into Superman. Oh man, Superman. That's that's definitely my jam right there. Yeah, and like I like that you did like the Christopher Reeve-ish type one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that will uh, always be. Uh, yeah, I think that it's always gonna be classic like that in the Supergirl movie. I don't know why, because it just came out when I was really little. Like I watched it all the time. Just the classic. Did you pick up the uh, the Motor City um, Superman yes, I book? Did. Oh, so did I. That was amazing. I, I was so good. I specifically did this picture for that show because I wanted. I knew all it was gonna be there, so I got them all to sign it. Ooh, yeah, they were so geeking out over it. And I was like, dang, that was so cool. That's awesome. That's a good idea. Draw your art and then have them sign it because a lot of people can't figure out what to get people to sign. I know, right? And that's what that's so funny because that's that's what I do. Oh my god, Meteor Man and Blink Man. It was I funny because I did this them. I did this for an experiment, to be honest, because oh, yeah. I had this and Superman sitting next to each other. And I just want to know people that that actually recognize these characters and, it was, and it's a lot it was a lot of people who was just like oh man you did blank man you did media man oh, this, that, this. So, that, that was, was really such cool. a huge thing in the 90s when it came out because like everyone was just craving superhero movies so you really didn't care what was coming out we were just you excited for what it to happen <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like all right let's go watch that and you're like super geeked out about it even though it's like super cheesy but even though you watch it now you're like yes this is amazing <laughs> yeah uh i i actually love david waynes i think one of my favorite movies is uh major pain oh my god i can't even tell you how many times i watched major pain <laughs> oh wrestling we have huge wrestling peeps in the community there's actually every other friday you're gonna enjoy this uh a thing called the hunt and it's a bunch of comic nerds that get together and they do comic book wrestling. So they'll batter each other with books that they're showing up. And they all each have their own wrestling persona. Uh, it's great. <laughs> that is funny. That's how it's great. Ah, that's how fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to have to stop by because it's next week and it's 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 a riot. Like the chat gets involved. There's a lot of shit talking. <laughs> yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll be here for that. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, this is also good too. You got uh, Bret Hart there, who uh, Bleak is actually going to go meet today because he's at the convention. And oh, Jake the Snake, nice man. Yeah, those some are good people, ones right there. I, everybody give me they be like, man, you don't have this person, you don't have this person. I said, like, listen, this was my first wrestling picture. <laughs> I he grabbed the people I knew for a fact. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I feel like I don't even have Undertaker in there. He's definitely the, my number one. It's oh. weird. I feel like I just start drawing Under, and just uh, just start. Undertaker people. and Paul Bearer are my boys. I love them. I they were the best. And then my favorite when I was growing up was the Junkyard Dog, and I love the wow, Rockers. I I the Junkyard Dog. Yes, they're, they're, those are my those are my guys. That's what got going on here. Oh, cool! Spider Homer. He's eating donuts. Yeah. That is, my, that is a big popular worm right there. Yeah, that's a good one. Especially nice. it shows. Oof. Oh, I bet. Let's see what's happening. Uh oh. Did it get to the end? Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Where'd it go? Spends out. There we go. Ha ha. Bebop and Rocksteady. I I love them. They're 
it comes to like weird cheesy characters they've got to be <laughs> yeah right it's got to be up there you got to be up there you got to be up there yeah it's like because well, when you was young you was like what like <laughs> yeah and like there's a lot of, like i am really big into like samurai ninja animal books i don't know why i just probably because of the turtles i don't know but yeah i collect all that and anytime i see this i, I have to buy it i don't care what it is i'm buying it <laughs> <laughs> That's funny you said that too, because it's like, yeah, wait, could it be because the turtles really the, I'm into yeah. those kind of things? <laughs> yeah, it probably was. Like when Secret of the Ooze came out, that was so hype, and you were like, yes. And then you thought Tokar and Razor were going to be them, and you were kind of disappointed, and you're like, you know what, yeah. whatever, I'll accept whatever. it. <laughs> whatever. We got Super Shredder at the end, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. What? I don't know what is happening. Okay, there we go. We got some sexy Vegeta <laughs> Goku action. Uh, Vegeta is my guy. Yes. The same here. Oh, like my brother and I were watching that. It used to be on Sundays, like in the nineties, but they would it would be on like the international channel, so mm. like, it would show like the stuff from Japan. So we watched like we had no idea because it was not subbed whatsoever, and we watched the whole <laughs> Cell Saga <laughs> in Japanese, and we would geek out anytime Penchala started playing. <laughs> <laughs> you're like i don't know what's happening this is amazing and you're like oh was amazing <laughs> elbow deep in head chala and you're like ah get into it yes Ooh, megazord action and nice uh <laughs> that's awesome uh do you i can't see anything that's happening right now do you have a section on here for your i wish comic because i would like to know more about that Actually, I don't think I do on there to be honest. Because to be honest, I haven't really updated my site in quite a while uh -huh. because cons and stuff like that. But I don't. Yeah. I don't think I have anything updated for. I wish to be honest on there. Okay, can you tell me more about that? Because uh, oh, I like that a lot. All I'm right, a big Sim oh, and I'm a big Simpsons fan. If people were looking at this, they like, why do you know it's a lot of mix of like you know okay. Simpsons? I'm a big Simpsons fan, so yeah, whatever cool. I like. I mixed the Simpsons with Will. <laughs> like, you know, you know, that's cool. cool. Uh, Bill Morrison, that's pretty neat. He's always at the cons and stuff. Uh, he's a very nice guy. He is. He's a, he is, he's he's a cool guy. He's very dude. nice. Yeah, okay. Let me stop sharing this. Let me flick back. Oh, my God. I missed a lot of stuff. Hold on. Whoa. Um, but Whoa. you said with, with um, I Wish? Yes. Okay. I Wish is, um, is a story based on... Um, a family dealing with the loss of a father and um of it's based on a, a family dealing with the loss of a husband and father and the father dealing with the loss of his family while dealing with the afterlife and that story pretty much came up pretty much really here's issue one okay. and here's issue two yeah so right. um that story came about pretty much you know you know, being a father, you know, being a husband, I always wonder pretty much about like, you know, what, you know, what could happen is that in the third, you know, will my family be taken care of, all this kind of stuff. So I pretty much got the writing. Actually, I got the drawing first because I draw first before I write. So, and I wish it was made really. Okay. Uh, I think that's a really nice story, and I actually like the art. I made that my the background here, and yeah. the, your your profile thing, because I thought it was very cute. And I love the little girl holding the teddy bear, but yeah, uh, I just from the covers alone, I got the vibe from what the book was about. So I I actually want to read more about that and your three one three, because I actually I, I love <laughs> that it's, that was local and you know all the great stuff in there. So that's fun. So maybe next time you yeah. come on. You'll be promoting something else, and we can talk more about it because I want to pick up your books. So yeah, that'll be great. We can talk more about it. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, Thank you. CJ, if you could choose a character from the Warriors to do a solo story for, what who would that character be? Oh man, um, um, <laughs> um, what's his name? Um, um, oh, you know what? Take that back. I never knew his name actually, but he was the young kid. He was like pretty much like the new recruit, if I'm not mistaken, okay. of the Warriors. Very light skin, big afro, um, but he was new to it. And I don't know what it is about him that I said like I said I would like to know what was his future from here on out Ooh, because you okay. went through a lot, <laughs> like for you to just be 
new to this and not really like that. You're not really tough like everybody else. You know, you really still green. So it's like, you know, what happened after this? Did you get tougher? Did you, like, you know, like what all happened from here on out, really? I that, love that, that movie. Would be, that would be lot. interesting. That would be a good one to see. Hey, Rude. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, hey, Steve Bizzle. What's up? He also was a fellow Michigander at one point, but is in Texas now? <laughs> mm. Okay, hold on. All right. Ah, Detroit artist. Yes, yeah, see? I, I'm reeling you guys in. Ha-ha. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jin also says, blasphemy for no Undertaker. You know? I, ah, I, see there? I agree. I agree. <laughs> you need to do uh, my favorite match. Uh, would be the Yokozuna casket match. So, you know. Oh. Yes, you need to get some of that in there. Nice. That's a, good <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a very good one. That was a massive casket also. That's a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me get out of here. Okay. Last question. <laughs> Caught up to chat now. Uh, <laughs> do you have an appreciation for the brawny and furry communities? That's I don't even know what's the brawny's one. I know uh, it's the My Little Pony version of the My Little Pony thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, then, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, go do your thing, have fun, do, do whatever you want. Yeah, it's yeah, because you have a thing. Yeah, I was I do cons. I've been doing cons for years. Mm-hmm. I've seen everything. Ah, I'm yeah, pretty sure. I think, it's more. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so what, <laughs> was, what was what was your first convention that you did? Uh, 2014 Wizard World. Ooh, nice. Um, I think it was Wizard World. I think it was Wizard World Chicago. To be honest, I think okay. so. Or is it Columbus? It was one of those. Okay. I always wanted to go to those. I was huge into wizards, and I was like, "You have a convention," and then I was like, "I don't know how to get there because I'm, you know, 14 coming <laughs> before yeah. internet. Like you couldn't do everything back then." <laughs> that time, um, I was just the artist, you know. Um, I was that guy who's pretty much like, you know, the creator's here and he's talking really, and they'd be like, "Well, here you go, meet the artist." Yeah. And you know, then I'd be like, "Hello," and then I sit back down really. <laughs> <laughs> But then after watching, you know, watching them work pretty much for some years, though, and I was like, I could do that. So, yeah. uh, and I think that's my favorite part about going to cons. Yeah, sure, you can run around, have shenanigans, meet your friends. I love going up to the artists, meeting them, actually learning about their work. Especially it's people like you. I've never met, I've never seen your comics before, but you know, I was like gravitated towards your art. You're a nice mm. guy, so I was like, hey, Thank it's you. gonna work. <laughs> I mean that's the that's the cool part. I mean that's the awesome part when you know when you get somebody to come to your table, and then they're looking at your stuff and they like they like it's so much different things and here and there, and they like, are you the artist? I'm like, yes. Oh, so you know they say, are you the writer? And I say yes. Somebody do your art? No, I do the art and the writing. See, I knocked out the middle man and the last man just became just the man. So that's well, just there it. You go. <laughs> if, you, if you don't have any new issues, it's all your fault. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Uh, I also agree, Dan. When he retired, it did not seem the same. Uh, poor Undertaker. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I lived for his matches. Also, uh, the Hulk matches were great. They were just super hype. Yeah. So good. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I miss that. I miss those at least. CJ says wrong answer. Brawnies are wild. <laughs> so you're missing out now, and I gotta go to BronyCon or BronyCon. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, I gotta run. Oh, see you. Thanks for dropping by, John. Uh, what do you find the most difficult to draw? Um, feet, psych, no. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I think vehicles, to be honest. Maybe vehicles. I can see that. Really, like, um, 
detailed like city things also because it's just so much lines it's, like, it's just so much lines, lines and i get so bored much. and it's like you know yeah. i'm kind of like here i just want to tell this part here it's like are you really gonna be paying attention to that building in the back yes you will but don't yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna put a bubble over there uh jason douglas who was working on his book uh, Jane American, he said he spent like years researching the background, like furniture and like refrigerators of like the 1940s because he didn't want people to come up to him at cons and be like, that was not right for that time. <laughs> exactly. Reason why I never do period pieces. <laughs> I mean, because doing, doing research on stuff, man, I've done it. It's like, you know, back in the day, I was doing a lot of science fiction kind of like drawings and I got. Like you get burnt out of trying to looking at Star Wars and oh, you know yeah, um, um galactic all all these kind of like space stuff and it's like all right I'm sick of looking at it yeah mm. and even though some things you can just make up your own though but yeah. like as far as like 40s 30 period pieces like that you know, sometimes you gotta be on point with it yeah I would call say. You the hardest thing about being an artist is not drawing something, but taking the things that you have in your head and envision it and putting it on the paper. That and then, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Because you can always work on the details and all that stuff later, but trying to express yourself from like pen, from your head to your pen, that's probably the hardest part I think people have. My, my process always working was um, because such I'm, I'm such a movie person and I love like, you know, like, I try and move, like, I try when I do the panel, I'll, all right, that's why I say, like, I'm an artist before a writer because right now I got it already mapped out how it's going to be. I know how the camera angle is going. It's going to okay. pan out this way, this way, this way here, and then this way here, and then probably a splash on the next one or something like that, then move on through. So I try, I try and look at it that way, to be honest. That's just the way I work on it, though, really. And it it works for me. At yeah. Least. <laughs> well, you're doing a good job. <laughs> you. Everything looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, it's a tough question. Best Coney Island, east side or west side? East side. Don't care. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what west side Coney's looking like, but um. Oh, uh, just pick the east side. East side. <laughs> See, biz. What what uh Coney you're going for? Uh, do you have boundaries on what you would draw or are open to drawing anything? I've drawn everything. Oh. And when I say everything. The, the brony commissions are going to come hot. Flying <laughs> you wouldn't believe, you wouldn't believe <laughs> I've been asked coming to my table and say oh, like, I, you know, Oh, I bet <laughs> my other friend does uh, saucy, saucy covers and you would I, he's told me some of the things people have requested. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he, then you're like, do I want to draw that? And you're like, you know, that's so weird. I might want to draw that. I just want to see how I would do it, to be honest. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. All right. <laughs> I've, done, I've done from covers to whole books of things. So, yeah. I'm, I'm open to doing things. Oh, we got some fighting words. The only Coney Island, and it's in Brooklyn. You know, CJ, mm. to you. Mm. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of diehard Glizzy hot dog fans <laughs> in the community. <laughs> I can tell you that will be a battle that's going to happen one day. <laughs> The battles of the hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. It's the hottest battle of all time. What is your favorite thing to draw? <laughs> I think, to be honest, like I would like if you would say me back in the day, it would be pretty much like anime stuff. To be honest, mm. that was typical. But then I think nowadays, though, I love drawing like movie stuff. You know, okay. like, you know, major pain, you know, or a scene yeah. from there or making a collage of things, you know, I like right. working on those kind of like things. I don't know why, but it's just something like, like, I feel like I could finally do 
you know, play around with and stuff. You know, I take a, a scene from a movie and I like to throw it in my bin or in my portfolio and see what people's reaction on it. Like, you know, like you just saw, like you yeah. saw, you know, um, you saw Meteor Man and Blank Man. And that was mad random. It's just just want to see what people <laughs> would be. <laughs> it's probably really positive because I know people really like those. And it's there's probably yeah. two characters you don't really see enough of. But people no. love them. You don't see that like pretty much right. anywhere. People love it, but there's like, you know, you don't see it enough though. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay. They do have some amazing ponies. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah, East Side. There you go. There you go. <laughs> There's only one Cody Island. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you already yeah, start hot dog wars, yeah, yeah. CJ. Man. Uh, you can buy a house on Bronies. You can. Wow. I have friends that make and sell commissioned furry suits, and they're making like a minimum of 10K per suit. Like, Bankable. Like, if you, if you ever stop doing art? Started. Don't, don't get me started. I make a whole file. <laughs> don't let me go do my research, boy. <laughs> Brooklyn's on the east side. You know, I bet it is. Uh, Larry CJ. Uh, what was your wow moment at a con? It's a lot. A lot. Some I can't speak of, but some like, you know, it's like, you know, people in general, you know, from signing autograph. I'm nobody, but I'm somebody to me, my family and stuff like that. But I think it's really cool when somebody come to you, a woman pretty much, and say like, you know, like, oh, sign these. And it's like, you okay. Made, you made <laughs> That's when you know you made it. <laughs> I think I made it. <laughs> I think I'm here. <laughs> I definitely yeah. want to do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> I like, I mean, especially, you know, I like taking pictures. A lot of people know I like taking pictures, you know, people that yeah. buy my stuff or anything because, you know, I love, it's not about just posting. It's just about, you know, I like having these moments and I make, you know, pretty much murals of that stuff pretty yeah, much with people yeah. with my stuff. And I like for the kids to see it too. But I didn't take a picture of those really. <laughs> Wish I did, but somebody else did from the <laughs> side. That's all my right. you know what I mean? That's a different fan holder. Yeah, right. That's a different fan holder right there. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so uh also on this comment here. Uh, so who was the first person uh, that you were eager to meet? Like you really wanted to meet that you never met before and you finally got to meet them? Like artist, creator, any type. Um, Jim Lee. Oh, okay. Jim Lee. Jim Lee. I met Jim Lee at Baltimore. And I, to be honest, I geeked out. Like Didn't yeah. know I was. Yeah. I thought I was cool. Mostly, mo majority of the time, I'm mad cool. But I was so cool, and I got an autograph. We talked for, like, you know, probably three minutes or something like that or something. And I said, and then I walked away, and I was like, I said, I can't believe that just happened. And I said, holy crap, I didn't get a picture with him. Oh, no. That sucks. <laughs> like, that sucks. He was just there. It was early in the morning, and oh, you know they no. was just they was moving him around, and you know it's like you know so you know if you had a con, you setting up and stuff. Majority, a lot of people be just walking around and stuff like that. Yeah. Sometimes celebrities don't even show up till like later though. But he was just chilling, walking, yeah. you know, moving That's him through. Awesome. And I was like, you know, like hey, and they was like, oh, we gotta keep going and stuff. So yeah, him. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would. I think this year I got to meet two of my tops that I've always wanted to meet. Uh, Astro, I ran into uh, James O'Barr, and oh, I got original art from him, and he spent like maybe an hour just talking art with me. I was so geeked out. And then at Motor City, uh, I 
I geeked out with John Jang <laughs> over Simon Bisley because <laughs> yeah. he had the booth next door and we were just like, oh, that's amazing. And then people were coming up to his table, like geeking out at him. But we were like, ha ha, it's Simon Bisley. <laughs> like, <laughs> for like a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah but the one okay here's a question for you too because uh who is the one person that you've always wanted to meet as an artist but they're no longer alive and you didn't get the chance to meet mine would have been michael turner michael turner was a huge impact on me art wise comic wise uh and still to this day just inspires me to just draw so who would have been your want lifetime wanted to meet but they're no longer i actually got to meet i actually got to um meet um michael turner years ago years ago such a cool guy that's when i was like i mean i was drawing but i wasn't nearly doing what i was doing then but he was just oh man he was so cool man i yeah but um who would i like to meet that was that passed away norman rockwell Oh, oh wait, do you say do you say in the comic book world or do you say anybody, in any art? artist, yeah. Oh, Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell. That would have been cool. I like his art. I am I am a huge Norman Rockwell fan. And you know, that's what made me actually fall in love with um Alex Ross work because okay. you know his you know, he looked up to even though his mom draws and stuff like that, yeah. but he was a lot of Norman Rockwell stuff, clearly. And, oh, you could definitely see it, especially in the way that they paint like the outfits and things. You can uh-huh. see that in there a lot. Totally. And it yeah. was funny because me and my dad, when well, my dad um introduced Norma Rockwell to me, um I was like, Man, can you imagine that if he did a Superman or something like that? Oh. And it was like, how cool would that be? And it was, you know, obviously until like years later when I seen Nor- uh, Alex Ross. And I was like, somebody did a Superman. Somebody did a Superman. <laughs> just like, I was, um, that um, would have been stuff. cool. And so, yeah. Uh, but then I found out that um, Norman Rockwell did a, uh, a Samson. Samson. I don't know if you watch um, Samson Delilah. Mm-hmm. Um, um, oh, man. I can't think of the actor's name off the top of my head. Oh, my God. But anyway, um, he did a Samson picture of okay. him, of the old you know, movie Samson Delilah he did a drawing of it and it was like it looks so phenomenal it's like i said why am i just seeing this as an adult yeah like you know so i thought that was so cool man i love seeing new art yeah oh i love art i think the 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 actual artists like classic artists non-comic book i would have loved to have met frida kahlo Mm. that would have been interesting nice. that would have been interesting i nice. went like during covid down a hole frida i read her art book i read her diary i watched all the movies that would have been fascinating to me that's somebody who's that's good like basically yeah. lived their entire life in pain and turned her pain into art because that was her way of expressing and getting expressing, it out there yeah. but it's, it's her her life story is just incredible to me so i would have loved to have met her yeah that's a good one mm. But it's, I mean, it's so many, it's so many artists I would love to meet. Um, yeah. I mean, even though I love meeting just new artists, you know, mm. people who just in the game, you know, and stuff like that, oh, you yeah. know, so, because like we all in the same, we kind of, you know, kind of on the same boat and stuff like that, you know, and, you know, I just, I just want to be around. <laughs> like, I just, I just love that energy. That's why I like, that's why I like to do cons. I did like, I mean, I did I think 20, 23, 24 shows last year. Wow. So okay. I met a lot of people. And it's like, you know, meeting that energy pretty much I get every time. It's like, man, yeah, I'm tired. I'm super tired. But I got that juice to go back home, man, and get to work really because, like, you know, it fills me with some energy, man. Yeah. Uh, that's what I've been getting into more and more of. And I actually want to do something more with this because this is fun for me. This is what I like doing. I like talking to people about art and I like their projects and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's just fun. And yeah, you it get, is. You get, like, um, excitement. It makes you want to do things when you find somebody that you're, like, syncing with or, like you, like, you talk art with somebody. And it makes you feel great because you don't really get that, like, maybe at home every day or even online sometimes. But the in-person Dude. thing, because you can see them, like, get excited about your projects. That's, and I see, that's one thing that's what I like. You know, I like being in that, per- 
you know, when people flip through my my books and stuff like that and looking through like my my prints and stuff and they like, oh man, you oh or they start cracking up about something like my I did a a picture of um Scooby and Shaggy and Squid Games and stuff like that. And I love seeing people <laughs> laugh because either you know it or you don't. <laughs> it's like, you know, or you get kids that look at it and be like, oh look, daddy, look, mom and Scooby Doo. And they like, all right. <laughs> oh, y'all know nothing about that. <laughs> like, you know, so that kind of stuff hilarious. It cracks me up. It's <laughs> that's so, funny. You know, yeah. yeah, that's that's why. I mean, that's why. It's like it's kind of like what I do. It. That's why I do it. You know. Yeah, that's a good way to do it, and I think that's what's great about like free comic with day and uh, going to the cons because you get to meet the people and interact with them and. Well, that's fun to see like your work actually getting out there and impacting people's lives and stuff okay cj uh that's good that's a uh, also good poster poster for the exorcist Ooh. okay okay there's some really good light play on the Exorcist. I know, right? Stuff. That's why I like the Exorcist. Uh, I talk about this movie a lot because I think it's the funniest movie of all time. Like I can't watch the movie and not just crack up like the entire time. But the way that they set the mood with the lighting, and, like the visuals for that, phenomenal. But everything yeah. else. <laughs> it's kind of a giggle moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, you didn't, I didn't hear you. <laughs> All right, we'll say that for another time. Like, I love, uh, I love the X's, man. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. It's one. I think it's because because um, the DVD. Uh, that I think it's the unrated one. I don't know if it's the unrated one or the regular one, but. The commentary. I used to love listening to DVD commentary, Ooh, and okay. I love the commentary through there. Him describing it, breaking down what's happening. This when did the film happen here? This is what's supposed to be happening here. This is what they saying here. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, I I actually like uh, was it 90s or late 80s the Repossessed movie. You know that it's the spoof movie starring Linda Blair and Leslie Nielsen. It is what? hilarious. It's so good. <laughs> it is literally The Exorcist, but they cheesed it up and made it even more. Oh, it's so good. If you haven't watched it, I believe there's two of them, uh, but it's called Repossessed. Go, go watch that. It's so Repossessed. Good. You yeah. Got... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold on that one. Uh, yeah, I might want to. I got to watch that. I do enjoy her movie. She's got some fun, just cheese fest of a movies that so good. Uh, okay, CJ wants to know what cons will you be attending this season? Oh, I will be uh, my next con at AstroCon, um, which is in ah, a couple yes, weeks. Yes, coming up at the end of the month or two weeks, um, the 24th and 25th. Yes, and the next one I'll be at Capital City. Okay, that's a uh, Lansing Phil. Phil's in here anywhere. He's yep, Lansing. I will be there. Um, next after that is, I believe is, um, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's, I think it's, um, Motor City Nightmare, to be honest. Yes. I really, uh, July sometimes. July. Yeah. yeah. And then okay. something else. Oh, really cool. Really okay. cool. I would be at, and then next is going to be Cincinnati. Um, Jim Lee gonna be there. I'll definitely get a picture there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. Motor City. I mean, I'm sorry, not Motor City. Um, Monroe. Monroe. Uh, okay. I'll be there, and then after that, I think my October is clear. I think, if, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Yeah, because uh, Motor City second part's coming up around then. Motor City's Motor City is in November. November. Oh. November 16th, I think. Oh, 16th like the week after Yom. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say, yeah, right. Because yeah. um, beginning of that of November, um, I have Grand Rapids. Oh. And yeah. so that's why I was I was trying to do um, Yomacon, but I was like, I didn't like. We was just talking about pretty much. I don't know what was yeah. going on. So, but 
Grand Rapids pretty much came into play. So I was like, I said, oh, okay, well, that's too close. That's like the, really the next week. And then talking about having Motor City like in November. Oh, yeah. Six. Yeah, that's too many. Too many at one time. Uh, yeah. Real Rude wants to know, what superhero would you kill? Hmm. Dang. I don't think I want to kill a superhero. I know, it's harsh, man. <laughs> yeah. Deep that's questions. Hard. Deep questions. I you answered like, this before, but I'm gonna go with Cyclops <laughs> just because. No, yeah. <laughs> I know that's your boy. <laughs> no! I just crushed your dreams. I know. Yes. <laughs> no, I can never keep saying it. Yes, Cyclops. I love Cyclops. Um, that's okay. If Bronze Age Nerd was in here, you two would be the homies of the homies because he is Cyclops is his boy. No, Cyclops. Cyclops is my guy. He's like my Captain America. Um, um, if if I was to if I was to kill a superhero, to be honest, you know what? I I kill Green Arrow. Okay, you know, I'll accept that. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. But okay, yeah. so if they're dead, are they dead dead, or are they coming back with like different powers? Oh, they dead, dead. I don't want to come back. Yeah, uh, that's okay. Arrow can stay. <laughs> <We're dead. laughs> I didn't see anybody in the chat say he was your favorite. We're good. <laughs> oh, local question: Better made or Lay's? Hmm. Lay's. I like. The, I do like the wavy Lay's. I do. Yeah, that's a good. I've never been even, to be honest, never even thought about it, but. I've never either. I just kind of grab them and eat them. <laughs> yeah, right? I it's do like, like uh, what is that? Is it Lay's that has it? It's the Detroit uh, mix. It's like caramel and cheddar corn. It's delicious. It's, I can't remember. It's got a purple and orange bag. That's all I know, but it's delicious. I don't even know. Yeah. I'm going to go with Lay's, though. Just go Lay's. Lay's. Yeah. Lay's. I, it's the wavy, the crunchy, late wavy ones. Mm, they're prime yeah. for like dipping and chippy dip stuff. Yeah. yeah. I also have to go with Lay's. Yeah. But I think Better Made, though, might have the better barbecue chips. I was going to just go into that. I was like, damn, you know what? <laughs> Thinking about it, Better Made's not the barbecue. And I think it's better to dip if you was like, if you was mm. dipping it somewhere, like, you know, than a, yeah. a dip. <laughs> I would. I never <laughs> did these. Okay. So this goes back to the a question we already answered. CJ so wants to know, is there a high demand for boob signatures and do you charge extra for that? No. <laughs> like <laughs> you offer your services for free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh that would be a local chip brand. Okay. Yeah. Hey fish, I know I'm. We, we are. I'm behind. It's okay. We're we're catching up. We're good. Uh, yes, David Finch. I would like to meet Jim Lee. I would like to meet. David Finch. Nice guy. Yeah, man. Uh, That's a good one. James O'Barr. Actually, look up cons because he's been doing way more out of state cons. Monroe. I will. I know he'll probably be back for um Astro probably. Astro. Oh, Frank Frazetta. Yes. Oh, I forgot about. How did I forget about Frank? I adore Frank Frazetta. Would have loved to have met him, painted something with him. Oh, Giger. You know, this is just, his designs are extremely. Oh, yeah. You also say the Giger. Oh, Escher also. Okay. I can get behind all of these. I would have loved to just yeah, yeah, one giant good, conference yeah. room. Get some I'm pizza. Like, okay, good. Yeah. I like all that. Yeah. She had a painting on her bed. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Oh, it's for the Frida. Yes. Dude, I am liking that you guys know this. Yes. Yeah, right? He's like killing it with these names. Good. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's I did a... not hear about that. I would have been super mad about that. That's some bullshit. Dang, that sucks. The poster is better than the movie. Oh, for Exorcist? I, I'm going to say it's the Exorcist, not the Frida Kahlo movie. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, 
I've never heard that. <laughs> the poster is better than the movie. Hey, yeah. uh, harsh. <laughs> harsh. Comic Journey also says, Exorcist is a great choice, but it's not freaking funny. It scares the shit out of me. You know, we just have two different versions of what's scary. That's fine. I'm like super into horror, so yeah. Yeah, because I, I don't know. It's funny because I never, I never found it's just scary. It's just that it was just I always felt like I think I was. I mean, I guess definitely adult me was like, there. I guess I'm really looking towards the mom part because <laughs> she was in a horrible situation here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I kid you not. I gotta say this real quick. In the Exorcist, it's the scene here that cracks me up. Every time I see it, <laughs> it's the um, it's when the mother is talking to the doctor, and uh -huh. the, doc the doctor says, "Um, they did all this, they did all the research on it, did all the tests on her." He like, it's like he didn't, he couldn't think of nothing else. And his last thing was, "You keep any drugs in the house?" I, <laughs> it cracks me up every time. <laughs> it's like that's all the thing he had in his bag. Like, I. Know. Well, all in her brain. Uh, <laughs> I will hysterically start laughing out loud, like I'm talking cackling, when they're showing the movie and then the demon flashes on the screen for like two seconds. I uncontrollable laughter. Un, it's bad. It's so bad. I, yeah, I can't. It's hilarious. Booga, booga. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, it's like I just. I will. Oh yeah, <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time. Oh uh, man, I agree. I yeah. agree. Oh, uh, ooh, really? I need to look this up. I did not know this. When was it? Was this? This must have been recent because I have not heard of this. Yeah. Me wow. Oh, I would have been so mad. Like, her house and everything down there. Oh, come on. Green arrow sucks. <laughs> Great. Dead, dead. Okay. Norrin, you would kill Thor? Wow. Wow. You know I'm with you. I go, if I went Marvel. Uh oh. Am I frozen or are you frozen? Somebody's frozen. Chat. Who's frozen? What's happening? Dave, am I in here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello? Oh, okay. Uh oh. Dave is frozen. Oh no, Dave! Uh. Uh oh, Dave is frozen. All right, let's figure out what's happening to Dave. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna get past this. Hi, hello. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. We're gonna get back. It's great. Mm. You don't think so? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll give it. We'll give it a couple minutes. To figure out what's happening. You know, I I'm, I'm starting to think we shouldn't make fun of uh the Exorcist anymore. Maybe it was Cyclops. Maybe it was Thor. I don't know. I think he'll be back. He'll be fine. He'll come back. Unless he doesn't know he's gone. Uh-oh. Hopefully he knows how to enter back in here. Dave! <laughs> you could do a dance until he comes back. That'd be amazing. Uh-oh. Dave, where'd you go, Dave? What kind of dance would you do, sick? Uh, okay, okay, hold on. 
I'm hey. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> This is what happens when you have kids and then they knock out the, the box and they like, uh, I was trying fine. to play it back up. <laughs> uh, so the entire rest of the chat says uh, that's what happens when you mess with the exorcist. So this is our fault. And that was a good one. Good job. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Peter Paul Rubens is an amazing artist. I love seeing his paintings. Come on. Wow. I didn't even think about that. I haven't thought about that in actually him in a long time. That's a good one. That is a good one. He had some excellent, uh, in Baltimore, there's so many good museums. But if you go to like the natural history and you go to the, in the Chinatown across the street from where the Capitals play is the yeah. portrait gallery. There are some phenomenal portrait paintings in there. They're just breathtaking uh there's some good ones too at the dia dia has good ones as well <laughs> you would never put down anything with selma hayek in it okay I can get <laughs> yes okay so we're up to the part where you froze oh rude you would kill superman you would kill superman interesting well he's an alien uh but yeah i also we were talking about thor oh yeah <laughs> god thanks <laughs> I got spiked down for that one. Uh, but yeah. yeah. You were canceled by Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he said, What happens when you make fun of the exercise? Uh, <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Miss So. Uh, it's not ended uh, yet, but thank you. Thank you guys, all of you guys, for stopping by. It's been a, a yeah, joy. definitely. And uh, yes, that's what happened. They zapped us to the interwebs. Yeah, yes. And he offered to do a dance. <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> totally, what happened? Yeah, we were all looking down on Green Arrow. Then he just like sniped your internet from like across the planet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, oh that's a good draw to do. Yeah. <laughs> Green arrows just chopped in my internet cords. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh <laughs> okay. So were you gonna do any more out of state conventions besides the one in Cincinnati? Um no, actually I am staying Cincinnati is my furthest one I'm gonna be doing. I said this year I was gonna do pretty much locals, pretty pretty much, you know, uh, other than obviously Cincinnati. <laughs> That just fell into play. But yeah, I said I was going to really stay home pretty much okay. you know, this year. Nice. Maybe so. next year you'll get on to like the heroes again because I know you meant yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Definitely. Fair enough. Yeah. More more fan expos and all them, all them kind of places and stuff like that. Yeah. I would be very curious to do fan expo Toronto. I went there for a concert. I think it was like 19. And they were having it at the time that I was there, but I didn't end up going because it was just. I didn't know anything about the city at the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> did a whole late buses ran, and I just ended up walking over anyways. But uh. it's funny. I did a con, and I think that was um, no, that was Columbus to be honest. And I never forget we had a we had our own drink and draw, and I was having a ball and stuff. And then all these people just came out, and they were just all like so hyped up and everything. And I was like, "What's going on? Like, what you mean you don't know?" Um. Hey, what's her name? Oh man, what's her name? Um, oh, Katie, Katy Perry. Okay, she the singer. had her own her whole concert and stuff. Right, I was like, oh wow, hey, look at that. I've never been in the mix of a concert crowd. Interesting. That's cool. Oh, well, the concert crowds are amazing, especially after or you run around. Right. You know what's hilarious? If you go like the Fillmore and you're waiting in line, it'll say like just a bunch of people walking around with those spaghetti sandwiches from Mom's Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> just like walking around like zombies with the mom's spaghetti sandwiches. Sam, stop. Uh oh. Uh, question. My dog. <laughs> Would you be open to grading a comic on the exorcism of Green Arrow? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one, CJ. That is a good one. That's a good one. I actually like that. <laughs> Jot that down. Jot that yeah, down. right? Time <laughs> stamp. 
this is the fun part, see? <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been on for almost two hours, and it does not feel like that. So, wow, word. Oh, yeah. wow. Look at that. Yeah. I know. It doesn't even feel like it. It feels like we just started. So, uh -huh, that was amazing. Thank you for agreeing to be on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even read that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a deal, CJ. And also, by the way, CJ is not a lady. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> oh, there you go. Just remember who gave you that gazillion dollar idea. There, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <So. laughs> oh, thanks, Headless. I'm glad that you guys have been hanging and enjoying the chat with us and meeting Dave. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Links, I have links to like all of your places down below. Uh, you got Instagram, I got your Etsy, and then your uh, Wix. So, is that the best way if people want to buy a book from you? Is that the uh, best way? Yeah, I'm. I'm still. I'm still working on the whole Etsy thing. I'm just still getting all new to that whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. that's one. But then also, like I said, cons and stuff, or just reach out to me, message me, and stuff like okay. that. Okay. I've, probably no, the easiest way yeah yeah that's the most easiest way in my opinion okay so yeah if you're thinking about getting any of his books just reach out to him and be like hey dave mm -hmm. except for cj but like i have your your brooklyn conies hey <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh yeah so that's cool been, i can't believe it's been almost two hours i really feel like this just started Right. So I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for yeah, stopping by. I had a blast, man. That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for uh, having me. I really no, appreciate you're it. You're so welcome. Um, yeah, and I'm definitely gonna pick up your books for the next time that we have this, so we can sit down and go over them, and I'll show off your your books. And Thank um, you. yeah. So let me know when that Kickstarter launches, and I'll definitely have you have you back on for that. I will. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and uh, I'll have CJ on as a co-host when you know you make the exorcism green arrow book. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try to end it. It's gonna end anywhere like from immediately to about maybe three minutes later. <laughs> so I'm hitting the button now. <laughs> let's let's spit out how long this takes. 